much faith in the Abrahamic religions and all my brothers and sisters in humanity, I'd like to greet you by giving you my peace and blessings. We are here and we have gathered here on this day of the month of Ramadan, the day that we are all fasting as a responsibility. A responsibility that first of all, as human beings, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty has created us with the nature, with the innate nature to fight against injustice. And as people of faith in general, God teaches us to stand up against injustices. And especially the faith of Islam, the religion of Islam, that teaches us to stand up against injustices. I won't reiterate what was said before me about how Islam tells us that we do not oppress people. I'll give you a historic incident. During the time that Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib Salamullah alayhi governed the Muslim Ummah he said in one of his lectures when a jewel was taken off the foot of a Jewish woman in the Islamic State Amir al-Mu'mineen said if a Muslim, a believer hearing that dies out of solidarity and the sadness I wouldn't blame them not their life taken not their house taken not their land taken just a jewel off her foot if that is taken if a believer dies out of the sadness and the anger of that I don't blame them this is Islam we are here to stand up against all oppressions and injustices throughout the globe whether in the Muslim world or outside of the Muslim world people in Bahrain are being oppressed people in Yemen are being oppressed people in Egypt were being oppressed and hopefully they're freeing themselves but they still have a few steps to take people in the occupied lands are being oppressed but people are being oppressed right here people are being oppressed in my country in the United States of America one of the biggest oppressions that is occurring in the United States of America is that the people don't know that their tax money is being spent to kill innocent people. This is a concern that I have not because just I'm a Muslim, not because just that I am a human being, but because I'm an American. I feel for my people. The American people are being oppressed by the American government and by the Zionists and the Zionist lobbyists within the United States. We condemn all those forms of oppression. All of it. No matter who it's towards. But the difference is, my brothers and sisters, that the oppression that you are seeing in Palestine there is a difference between that oppression and other forms of oppression. This oppression has been going on for the past 60 plus years. However, it has received legitimacy by certain powers and certain international bodies that have been created to make sure the justice of the world is safeguarded and the rights of human beings throughout the world is safeguarded like the United Nations. This oppression has been legitimized. When they talk about the occupation, they don't mean all of Palestine. What they mean is a strip in the Gaza Strip, which they call it, and they call the West Bank Palestine. The rest of it is Israel, and that is legitimized, and that's where we have the problem. Excuse me. If they were to kick you out of your house and say, we want peace, just accept to peacefully stay out of your house, we're going to live there for a while. Is that peace? What kind of peace is that? 
How can we accept that? That is the difference, my brothers and sisters. It has been considered legitimate by my country and some other countries and many other countries, unfortunately. And this is led, whoever stands up for the people of Palestine, regardless of their faith. This has been mentioned, don't be fooled by the media that's out there. The people of Palestine, whoever stands up for them, is considered a terrorist. And the states... And the states and countries that support the Palestinian people, they are considered state sponsors of terrorism and of the axis of evil. By the illiterate president of my country. This is the problem. And whoever supports those bombs, whoever gives the Zionist regime the nuclear bombs, and whoever allows the NPT not to be signed by the Zionist regime and everybody else has got to sign it. And the Islamic Republic that has signed that treaty and believes in that treaty more than the United States does, they are considered those who are trying to get the nukes. But the Zionist regime with the nukes is not problematic. It's legitimate. The French can give that, there's not a problem. What is this injustice, my brothers and sisters? One of the biggest oppressions that the people of the world are facing is through the media. The media is oppressing the intellect, not the body, the intellect of the human beings throughout the globe because they're being kept uninformed about what's going on. They're being portrayed the wrong image of the entire globe and what's going on. Have you heard in the recent days and months, have you heard anything about Palestine on the media? My brother was explaining before me. No news agency calls and asks about what's going on in the occupied lands. You don't see it. You don't see the people dying there. Everybody's interested in Libya. And that's even a game, my brothers and sisters. Yes. Yes. They're, not, they're not worried about the people of Libya. No. Give me a break. They're worried about the oil of Libya. Yes. They're worried about who takes control of that land. Who liked Gaddafi? Anybody? Is there any sane person that would like him in the world? But they supported him because he gave them the oil. Now when the people said, we don't want him, they said, okay, we want to make sure that this country does not end up in the hands of the people. So we're going to bring in NATO. In the name of democracy and all of that. These are the oppressions that are going on in the world, brothers and sisters. And the media is not allowing the people of the world to know about this. That's one of the greatest forms of oppression. And what you're here, you and I are here for, is to make sure we bring that oppression to an end. We may not be able to go and help our brothers and sisters in Palestine, help them out, because if we go, it is legitimate for the Greek government to stop our flotilla and not allow it to go towards Israel, or what they call to be Israel. They don't allow us. Even if you want to help them, humanitarian aid, they'll put a big badge of terrorism and supporting terrorism on you. And they won't allow it because they've leg legitimized it. We can't do that, but we are here to voice our view and join all the people of the world that understand this to spread awareness. And my brothers and sisters, as the wind you feel is blowing towards you and you feel that breeze, there is a spring, not an Arab spring. It's a human spring that is spreading throughout the globe. The awareness is rising. The people that are oppressed throughout the globe, even in Europe, that you'll see it and it's flipped and you'll get another image and a view of what the people in even Europe are saying. Realize that the people of the world are waking up. The people are waking up in the Western countries as well as the Arab countries. And I don't like to call them the Arab countries. They're all people, but it's the Muslim countries that are waking up. 
We see that breeze coming, brothers and sisters, and we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty has said, if the people stand up and they make the move and they trust in me and they take the hardship and they're patient, they will be successful. You don't expect a few people called the politicians of these countries to end this oppression. But the people are rising up, they're, rising, they're raising their awareness and this uprising throughout the globe will be successful insha'Allah ta'ala by the will of God, by the grace of God, this will be successful. We will see in the near future the oppressions of the world coming to an end and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala God Almighty that He relieves all the people of the world all of them from the oppressions that they're facing and we ask Him to provide us and send us the Savior that will help us do that insha'Allah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Free, free Palestine! Free.